Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. Welcome to another episode of Watercolor Instructions with me. Uh, so I'm going to do another, continue, do another um, boat scene. Uh, this one is um, boats when the tide goes down. So maybe there's few boats. Uh, if you haven't done any boat, um, much boats, there's a simple couple of techniques. Probably I'm going to just do one or two techniques just to give you uh, an idea. Uh, the most common thing which when you Google you can find is the number eight. So just do number eight depending on that's the boat and the highest point. So that particular line, if you can see it, you erase that line and that line gives you a boat. So that one probably needs to be somewhere here. Uh, very easy and very effective. So that's a boat. Uh, let's, if I want to do another one in the same fashion, but the back facing us. So that could be the keel. And that's another boat. So if you erase that, you can see how slightly effective is that. So uh, I'm painting that again is so I'm gonna just use some neutral color, make sure that it's all wet. And above. Maybe a boat in the a motor in the back. And a little bit of color. And the bottom can be. something in that order. Also, if you want to add another person sitting there. It's effective and same thing if I want to do another, another direction, I'm just wetting the so boat so and not to forget. If it's got a little bit of mast or other things. A dagger board, maybe it needs to be a little more. So, you get the idea. So you're trying to do a boat. 
this is uh, just an eight position but it's very effective so in this case uh, again i'm going to try to uh, compose it uh, maybe if needed i'll put in a photo so composition so i'm trying to do this put a the focal board over here uh, maybe one more board and then there's a little bit of the background and also what I'm trying to compare is to get an effect of um, the tide. Uh, so the boat is slightly at an angle. Uh, in this case, probably I'm going to do center. Okay. So a simple boat then there's there's a bench and a little more detail okay so that's the main focal element I need to check if yeah, the video is being recorded and then also another board maybe uh, in that particular plane so let's see so okay a tilt so a plank to Set and then also the blank. Okay, and then uh, obviously shadow of the board, a little bit of wash, and then let's do a tide. Uh, maybe up here. Yeah. Over here, I'm going to do some small uh, boat which are eight in size. Okay, and then maybe over here. That did come out correctly. I'm gonna redo that. So, and some boats falling off, just the back of it. Maybe that's the end of the banks. So that's the basic idea. So a um, little bit of still of water here. Uh, and there's the tide. And we'll see how I'm going to cover this area. So a little bit of blue skies. This is cerulean blue. I'm gonna add a little more color to the top. Let it sink. So I'm gonna just try to take a little more water out and then drag it so that we can get that lovely reflection
I want to try to do that area as a bit more reflection. So, reflection, reflection, I'm slowly building. So light falling over here. Um, okay. Should be enough. I'm gonna just continue. Okay, I'm gonna come in, dump all the palette colors. I've got all the reds which I'm looking for. Reflection, reflection, and I continue. Uh, it's a bit more uh, yellow than I wanted. Also, I want to keep that edge in the board. So I'm going to just uh, add a little more. Color. So I'm going to just um, beef up the back. It's a little more stronger colors. And A little bit of greenery in the back, can't make out much, I'm going to add a little more. Okay, so I'm going to focus on that area first, if I can finish. The build a little more try. Okay. 
much better. Drag. Okay, so I'm going to slowly build my boats in the harbor. So this particular boat, so obviously let's, uh, the reflection, sorry, the light is in that particular direction. So all my boats will have Sorry, probably I should uh, do that way. Uh, it it is a little more space. I think probably I'm going to change my angle for that to the other side. And probably this is a good time to just uh, dry a little bit. Okay, so I continue with the boats in the background first, and then so getting and not forget shadow So, also it needs a little more. Okay, so we come to the slightly bigger boat. So, plenty of uh, water. And 
all the colors and also making sure Okay, that's not working my way. So this particular area. So a little more darker. And continuing, I'm just trying to build a profile. Working with uh, the warm tones the cooler tones. Slightly bigger brush and do the more color okay and a shadow as well so we're looking at slightly was a bit too dark but as long as it's wet I can manipulate and push and pull. okay that one is too white I'm gonna just dumb it down with some sort of a, any of the maybe a little bit of turquoise okay and all right I would let it uh, sit down for a minute while I work on some of the areas in the back. Uh, add a little more depth. I 
plenty of splattering. And continue with a little more. Okay, so a few more bits and bobs I can add. So there is no rhyme or reason, I'm just uh, adding a little more texture. A little more texture and there may be a little more blue. So what I've found is for the dry brush, especially these Chinese calligraphy brush, they tend to uh, have uh, better in doing some rough sketches. So I'm taking them some serotonin blue, loaded with a little more pigment and I'm just um, pushing it through the paper gently to get that broken edge and I add a little more Oop. Okay, so these boards are too uh, light. I just can't uh, make out if they are in the water. So I'm going to just try to darken it a little bit so that we can, in fact, see the board. Maybe a little color on this part of the board. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is some anchor points. and some mast along with that so And add a little more, maybe a light. And this area looks too uh, clean. I'm going to just add a little more. Okay. 
That's fine. Couple more tethers. Maybe a little couple of birds. And now I'm gonna add a little more uh, texture to maybe something in the sand. Okay, so I'm gonna call that quits. Maybe a little more dark inside. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it, help me out, hit like, subscribe, uh, every single like and uh, a subscription helps me. And let me just um, unveil the mask or probably I should, it's too wet, let me just dry a little bit. So I think one of the best part about um, of painting uh, for me is uh, unmasking. So putting it in the frame, it's, it's oddly satisfying. I've done enough paintings, you think I would be used to it, but not. Every time I look forward for peeling the mask. For all the materials and the brushes I use, I'm going to add a couple of slides in the end, all the brushes and other things. So let's just see if it's in the link. That's right. So, as I said, help me out, subscribe if you haven't, and keep watercolor painting. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.